dearly beloved in Christ. On this 11th Sunday in ordinary time, Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 to 34, tells us a parable about how it is with the kingdom of God using the image of a seed and comparing the kingdom of heaven to the growth of a mustard seed. This gospel carries a significant message regarding faith and the kingdom of God. The growth of God's kingdom is dependent on the power of God, but not without the disposition of the heart on which it is planted. Today's gospel consists of two parables, each talking about seed. First, Jesus talks about a man who scatters seeds on the land, which over time sprouts and grows. When the grain is ripe, he goes for the harvest. Similarly, in the second parable, he talks about a mustard seed, which happens to be a very tiny seed, but when it is sown, it grows and becomes the largest of plants with large branches providing shelter and comfort for the birds of the earth. The emphasis in these parables is the seed, which seemingly grows naturally on its own, but guided by the force behind creation. Like the kingdom of God, Jesus plants seeds of the kingdom in our hearts through his life and teaching. It is our belief that God, the source of life, is the one who causes seeds to grow and grants the increase. I give credit to my culture that celebrates the New Young Festival, which is a celebration of thanksgiving to God for a rich harvest, an acknowledgement that God is the force behind the yam's growth and availability. God provides us with his grace, which can be referred to as the seed. And when we do his will, which is the planting, God, through his infinite kindness, grows his kingdom in our hearts. As required of him, the man in our parable today scatters on the land the seeds provided by God. While he sleeps and rises, night and day, God blesses the work of his hands, ensuring that the seed sprouts and grows. St. Paul acknowledges this awesome power of God in his first letter to the Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6 to 7 when he says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything but only God who gives the growth. In our Christian life, we do what we can by our own sincere efforts while God provides abundance of grace. The efficacy of the sacraments, for instance, is not only by the external actions we perform and the words we proclaim, but by the inward grace that God supplies. Thus, the Catholic Catechism defines sacrament as the outward sign of inward grace. Brothers and sisters, today's gospel challenges us to put God's gifts to us into good use and we shall marvel at how God takes care of us even when we slumber. Just as the tiny mustard seed grows into a big tree that harbors the birds of the earth in its branches, the family of God's people grows to become big enough to embrace people of all nations. Although our humble beginning may in itself be quite insignificant today, with God's grace, it will gradually surpass our own human efforts. In a similar way, our faith might be small, but we need to nurture it by planting and watering it, and then allowing God to bless the work of our hands. By His grace, it grows emitting the sweet fragrance of God's love unto anyone with whom we come in contact. Thanks for reflecting on the word with me. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.